Hey guys, so in this video, I want to talk to you about the new feature we've added to the Porto theme, and it's called the Visual Customizer. So the following can be accessed within uh, the back end of your website if you had an over to appearance, and you click on this button here where it says Customize, or if you are on the front end of your website, you hover over your website title, and you click on Customize here. And from this area, uh, you're able to control the entire website settings and most of these settings are duplicated from the standard flow theme area here. But in this case, uh, the difference is that you can change some of the settings and you will see a live preview before you make the decision whether or not this is something you want to change. So for example, you have the ability to change your website width. Currently it's set to 900 pixels. We'll go ahead and change this to 1200 pixels. All right, so we'll click on Save and Publish. Next off, we'll close this off, and we'll then need to go ahead and add a, a logo to our website. So we'll go over to our header settings and scroll down, and we're able to upload a new logo. So we'll click on Select Image, and as I've already previously uploaded an image to my media library, I'll simply select the following logo. I'll then scroll down and adjust my logo width over here. Uh, if it's necessary, it can be larger or smaller. You can add a logo for your mobile version and so on and so forth. So all of that can be accessed within this area here. Uh, then you can change out your menu navigation, uh, change out how, how it looks, and uh, just kind of preview it before you decide to go with uh, the final look of it. Once you've made that decision, click on Save and Publish and you're good to go, your settings will be changed. Uh, scrolling further down, we have the ability to adjust all of our content settings. We're able to adjust our sidebar, slideshows, image sizes, titles, all of that can be accessed within uh, this area over here. Scrolling further down, we're able to change our website title and tagline. As you'll see here, it's called test website, just another WordPress site, so you can change that as well. You can then change it around all of your colors, background images, you're able to adjust your menu navigation. If you have several menus, you can select the menu you want to have at the top, so that can be done here as well. And then probably one of the most important areas is the actual widgets area. So you, you'll click here and then you have access to the entire set of widgets that you would normally have within the back end of your site. So if I want to add some content to my homepage here, because it's quite blank, there's nothing there, so I'll go ahead and simply add some basic content to my header top full screen with area. And I'll click on Add Widget, and at this point I just want to go ahead and add some uh, custom flow blog posts to my website. So I'll select this widget. It'll be added here to my sidebar, and I'm here. And from this area, I am able to adjust whether this will be blog posts or gallery posts. And as I select the type, everything here will change accordingly. So if I select blog posts, this will also change. Uh, if necessary, you can add a background color. You can add background padding. All of the settings are exactly the same as your normal widget settings are. You're then able to adjust your title. So, um, so let me just go ahead and type in latest blog posts. And you'll see that our title here will change as well. And uh, we'll, over here we'll write, check out my latest blog posts, just like that. So once you've configured this here, you can then also adjust the number of columns you want to have. For example, four columns, and if you want to have eight, Eight blog posts you're also able to adjust these settings as well or if you want to have uh, two columns and only four blog posts you can also change this you can change the um, the gutter space between your uh, between your posts to 10 pixels for example and you're able to preview all of these changes before you click on save and publish so uh, this gives you a huge advantage of previewing the changes, testing out the website, what everything will look like, and only then deciding whether or not this is something you want to apply. So, um, like I said, the, the, following, the following area here contains the majority um, of the settings that your normal 
uh, flow theme backend would look like. But a huge advantage that it has is that you can preview the following changes before clicking on save and applying them to the website. So I do hope this video helps to kind of explain some of the capabilities of, um, of the following options and what this can do for you. But for further information, we do recommend that you check out our documentation link and that is in the video description below. Thanks again for watching.